Hey internet, welcome to Worldview Everlasting, your favorite YouTube addiction, and this is your daily fix. As news reports continue to surface regarding cover-ups of sexual attacks by migrants in European nations, most recently in Sweden, at a music festival for youth two years ago, buried by the police, the rising anti-immigrant sentiment of European nationals is no doubt going to be aided tremendously by the recent republication of Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf in Germany, the first time since it was banned by the Allies right after World War II. While the German scholarship behind this annotated the work, reportedly attempting to counter this jumble of inhumanity released into the public domain through critical references that put the text and its author in their place. All the same, footnotes being what they are, a treatise on the Aryan master race and its need to dominate the continent wouldn't be the water I'd be throwing on the fire. Meanwhile, the commander-in-chief of our dear republic gave his State of the Union address last night, on which he opined on many may be true things, but one of them certainly struck me at odds. No nation attacks us directly or our allies because they know that's the path to ruin. Only several hours before, two U.S. military vessels were captured and boarded, the soldiers detained. And while the propaganda coming out of the White House says that this was a friendly ordeal, helping out two boats whose motors had broken, the Major General, head of Iran's armed forces, was quoted as saying, the incident in the Persian Gulf, which probably will not be the American forces' last mistake in the region, should be a lesson to troublemakers in the U.S. Congress. I guess this is just another lost cause, Mr. Payne. And while the U.S. media continues to demonstrate its total ignorance of Christianity, believing something that I found rather astonishing, he said, you know, it's time for the body of Christ to rise up and support me. I don't know anyone who takes their religion seriously who would think that Jesus should rise from the grave and resurrect himself to serve Ted Cruz. The Christian in the midst of this chaotic world certainly has more than a few things to worry about. And yet, I can't help but wonder how many Christians in the pews today know that the body of Christ is in fact shorthand for the church because of the fact that baptized into Christ's holy triune name and fed with his sacred body and blood in the mystery of the Lord's Supper, we are indeed united in substance with this one resurrected man, not just now, but eternally. In this way, while I will indeed respect the commander in chief of this nation. I serve a king, king of kings and lord of lords, whose hand is mighty, but whose primary goal is not to bring to peace the nations of this world, but to bring to trust the sinners like you and me, who need not a sword to be wielded throughout the globe to serve our fleshly desires and needs, but a blood payment to cover us from our enmity toward God and toward each other. Where's your treasure? When and if foreign nations do attack this country? When and if the misguided belief in an Aryan superiority does wield its ugly head again? When and if a true axis of evil that opposes not American greatness, but the reality of the Ten Commandments, the Creed, and the Lord's Prayer does come closer to you than youth events in democratic Sweden. What are you prepared to believe and confess? And how are you prepared to guard your mind and your heart from the lies that would deceive you? If there's anything to be taken from the news these days is that Christian education must not decrease, but increase. And that means that we must not increase, but the proclamation of Christ and his cross must increase among us. If the body of Christ is to rise up, it's not going to do so by voting for politicians. It'll do so by kneeling down at the altar and saying once again, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Trusting most certainly that by the blood of his cross, that is what he wants to do. Keep it real. Rock on. Worldview Everlasting is solid, Christian, and free because it is viewer supported. Your monthly gift of five, 10, or $25 is the reason that we can continue to improve and expand these tools for online Christian outreach and discipleship. To make a one-time donation, sign up for the Lutheran Ninja Clan regular giving, or to find information about how to put Worldview Everlasting in your congregation's budget, click Donate Now. <laughs>